Hello viewers, this is Vijay Bhamgwani and in this video, I'm going to share my idea about how to make money from the impeding government policies under the new administration of President Joe Biden. If you think I've added value to your trading and investment experience, I request you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, click on the bell icon so you receive instant alerts about any fresh videos that I upload daily and do interact with me through the comment section telling me what you think of this video and what other topics I can re uh, record in my future videos. Also, help me reach out to fellow like-minded investors and traders who believe in knowledge-based investments and trades by referring my video to your family and friends. So let's dive into the topic for the day that I have chosen. May I draw your attention to my video of 4th of November 2020 in which I laid out the scenario of what would happen if Joe Biden was to occupy the White House as the US president, the 46th US president. And guess what? <coughs> I beg your pardon. Biden is now in the White House and along the expected lines that I uh, laid out in my 4th November video, he has basically gone back and reversed half a dozen uh, uh, policy moves of uh, uh, his predecessor, Donald Trump. The one thing that I told you Biden would do is get America back onto the climate change bandwagon. Donald Trump did not really think too much of climate change. He uh, uh, actually uh, rubbished the idea. He thought it was a figment of uh, uh, the imagination of a few alarmists and activists who were uh, basically resorting to much ado about nothing. President Biden has now reversed that stand and said America will participate in remedial measures to reverse and halt global warming. What does it mean for you? How do you make money out of it? And more importantly, how the road forward will basically impact our portfolios next. You see, the way climate change can be uh, basically halted, if not reversed, is that you need to stop polluting our atmosphere by methane and uh, other gases, greenhouse gases, which means clean energy, which means no affluents. Now, there is an entire line of uh, uh, investment uh, thought process called ESG, environmental, social and corporate governance, which basically means that you should be investing money in those industries, those areas which are carbon neutral and non-polluting and therefore uh, uh, beneficial to mankind on earth. So renewable energy is likely to be a big beneficiary under the President Joe Biden's term. And this was in his election manifesto, which I discussed at length in my video on 4th November. And the only way I think, as per my understanding, is that Joe Biden will have to step up solar uh, uh, power and dependence on solar power. Now for solar power and solar power uh, the world over is gaining traction, you need a huge amount of silver. Now I have some fun facts for you which I haven't discussed uh, uh, any time in the past so I'd like to draw your attention to these facts and let you be the judge of whether you want to go along with me in my bullish hypothesis on silver. So uh, the average solar panel consumes no more than 20 grams of silver because technology has advanced and it has basically resulted in uh, uh, solar power being generated from smaller and smaller amounts of silver being deployed. You see, a photovoltaic cell is nothing but uh, a covering uh, over an electronic chip uh, of uh, silicon and a silver paste. Over a period of time, thrifting, the word thrift means to economize. The technique of thrifting has resulted in the amount of uh, uh, silver 
being used to manufacture one photovoltaic cell has been reduced. 10 years ago, I mean, in 2009, uh, 11, 12 years ago, the amount of silver required to manufacture one photovoltaic cell was 521 milligrams. But in 2019, 10 years later, what we need is a bare 111 milligrams per photovoltaic cell. And a solar panel is a, a cumulative uh, a, a, a panel of many photovoltaic cells. So the total uh, each solar panel requires is 20 grams. Now, will thrifting take the consumption of silver lower in the future? Yes. Yes, it will. Technology has estimated that the possibility of 65 milligrams per photovoltaic cell is not far away. As a matter of fact, it could happen by 2025. Before you think it's too far, remember we are in 2021 already. But, and this is a big but, the overall consumption and the overall use of solar power will jump many fold by 2025. So even though your photovoltaic cells are consuming 111 milligrams of silver now, which will go down to 65 milligrams of silver, the absolute number of photovoltaic cells made is likely to jump up geometrically, which means silver consumption will actually go up rather than go down. Now, thrifting, therefore, is not really a big threat. Now, electrics and electronics, let's call it E and E, remain the top consuming uh, industrial segment of silver. But photovoltaic cell manufacturing is fast catching up as the second largest consumer of silver. Now, E and E, which is electronics and electricals, can, uh, are responsible for 43.46% of the total silver consumed as of 2019. 2020 data is still awaited. Whereas photovoltaic cells, less than 25% of the total silver consumed. So that's a very distant second. Now the electrical industry has conducted a research study. It has found that silver has the highest electrical and thermal conductivity amongst all metals present in the universe. Yes, even higher than gold. So if you want to build supercomputers, superconductors, higher efficiency LED lights, you want to have uh, a very, very conducive, uh, highly uh, conductive uh, uh, printed circuit boards, uh, you have to have silver rather than gold, aluminium or copper being used in these uh, applications. So uh, uh, silver beats all other metals hands down in thermal and electrical conductivity. As a matter of fact, the electronics and electrical industry has uh, deemed silver to be an electrically critical element, ECE, -E, and said mankind cannot do without silver. The other thing that is basically a fallout of the uh, climate change is the pollution is not only restricted to the atmosphere, but also the pollution to our groundwater. Basically, industrial effluents or waste is polluting both uh, our, our air and water. And what can be better as a biocide or something that can be used to treat the uh, uh, contamination in the water than silver. Do you know your water filtration machines also have a certain amount of silver being used there? So as more and more people resorted to uh, resort to water purification machines, the consumption of silver is likely to skyrocket. And hey, water does seem to be the new oil in the making. It's getting precious. It's getting more and more scarce and is getting more and more polluted. So this is another uh, uh, basically uh, use for silver that is going to skyrocket. Now the thing about the electronic and electrical industry is that it requires 99.9% .9 pure silver. So no amount of uh, 
uh, mixing or doping of silver is permitted. The, the more you use 100% or 99.99% pure silver, the more silver you will basically use up ultimately. So silver consumption is about to jump. Now, uh, uh, if you are familiar or uh, very gung ho on the electric vehicle uh, uh, kind of uh, revolution that's coming up, as a matter of fact, I'm thinking of recording a separate video on this by itself. Do note that you can't have long range batteries which can give you more mileage per charge unless you have new age silver zinc alloy batteries and superconductors used in the car itself because remember the more conductive and uh, uh, thermal energy which is uh, uh, being transmitted with least resistance the longer your car will run without needing a charge so uh, uh, the electronic the electrical vehicle revolution also is unlikely to happen without silver now the demand by the photovoltaic cell industry is uh, uh, between 66 to 80 million ounces per year and the best part is it is after thrifting. By thrifting I mean reducing the number of milligrams of silver used per photovoltaic cell. So like I've said earlier, it's unlikely to fall below 65 milligrams per photovoltaic cell because be below that uh, conductivity or production of electricity from sunlight is not possible. So uh, uh, not only is Joe Biden likely to push for clean and green energy, but countries like Norway have actually started making solar panel roofs on automobiles so that during the night time, the car can run on a long range electrical battery and in the daytime, it can utilize solar power to basically run the vehicles. Now, if this was to become a norm, I expect silver consumption to simply skyrocket. So friends, this is the reason why I think you're going to be doing a big favor to yourself, your future generations in terms of a better, healthier, cleaner, disease-free life and make money by investing in silver. This basically fortifies my bullish case on silver and I advocate buying silver in the physical format in uh, uh, coins and bars of 99.5 or higher purity. I've recorded enough videos which you can scroll down in the playlist to help you with how to buy silver and not get cheated, how to get it electronically tested, how there are scams in the, uh, uh, the physical silver uh, market where the core could be steel or copper and there's a covering of silver on top and how to avoid all these scams, which is the best place to buy a reasonably priced silver and not pay a premium, etc. Do give me a shout out about what you think of this video and in my next video on silver sometime in the future I will let you in on how the electric vehicle industry is likely to revolutionize the way it will consume silver. I think you're on the path of super profits by being patient with silver. I wish you have a very, very profitable day ahead, my friends. Thank you for watching me. Thank you for being with me in this video. Stand by till I come up with my next. Thank you. Bye-bye. Also, do not forget to subscribe to my free email newsletter, Fast Profits Daily, and get my free guide, How to Trade Markets Like a Pro.